Good evening. Clyde is on assignment tonight. A former Cincinnati City Union leader might spend up to 20 years in prison if she's convicted of embezzling hundreds of thousands of dollars. Federal authorities today accused Diana Fry of taking that money from union members over a six year period. Nine News reporter Tom McKee has been following the story all day, and he's live at City Hall now with how this could have escaped detection for so long. Tom? Well, as president of CODE, the Cincinnati organized and dedicated employees, Diana Fry had control and influence over union funds. But today, a federal grand jury indicted her on wire fraud and said she took $757,000 from 2005 until June of this year. And of course, now Fry headed that union and worked for the Metropolitan Sewer District, but tonight is in the process of severing her employment ties with the city. Assistant U.S. Attorney Tim Mangan said she developed a scheme of transferring union funds to her personal accounts, writing checks to herself from union accounts, making ATM withdrawals and credit card purchases, plus initiating wire transfers of union funds to pay off personal loans. Suffice it to say, it was all spent over these six years uh, for her personal benefit in one way or another. Uh, but in terms of getting into what we can recover, that's still something that's ongoing and I don't want to comment any further on that. Now, code board members reported the missing money to federal authorities and tonight insist the union will continue to operate and remain a strong force for its members. Now, Carol, there's been no comment from Fry herself at this particular point in time. She's not going to be arrested on these charges. She has been summoned, though, to a hearing next week in U.S. District Court. That'll be Thursday at 1.30 in the afternoon. Again, if convicted, she could spend 20 years in prison, be fined $250,000, and have to repay double what she allegedly took, which would be a $1.5 million. Tom McKee, live for us at City Hall. Thanks, Tom. A young